everybody this is Sherry Hudgens and on this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can put together student groups on Infinite Campus. This is a wonderful tool that can help you um, change up some things in your gradebook so if you are differentiating with instruction and you have assignments that are different for different groups of students you can make student groups and then only assign that in the grade book to those students so it doesn't show up for the other um, for the other kids so let me go ahead and show you how to do that um, mine is already opened up but if you look under inst your instruction tab and then go to student groups and click that then it will open up a page that's similar to mine here um, make sure that you're in the right section you can identify that up here I'm using my seminar kids from last year okay um, you'll notice that I do not have any active groups available right now so I'm just gonna make an active group and so what you do for that is you click on new Okay, and so it pulls the screen up and allows you just to drag and drop kids. I mean, it is so quick to do this. So the name for this, um, I'm just going to call it Group A. I mean, you can have any name, any specific thing that you want. Maybe it's an assignment name. Um, if you'll notice, I... Uh, okay, so I'm going to put Group A... Okay, and for this, I'm going to have my boys be group A. So I just pull, and my computer's acting a little slow today. Normally, this goes very fast. Um, and so you can use it however you want, um, but it allows you just to pull any of those members that you want into that group that are going to be given that specific assignment um, into the other column and in this section I organized it as group A so my boys and that I'm pulling over here will be part of group A okay I'll just stop there so now I have all of these kids they're designated group A I'm gonna hit save and now what you'll see is I have eight active members in group A okay and so if you look next door to um, the students that I pulled over they have um, group A listed in their membership and you could do this you could do more than one you could have group B you could have uh, reward or non reward and um, so some of these kids could be in several different um, groupings okay um, so I'm just gonna make another quick group uh, group C okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this kid in there okay so very quick and easy so if you'll notice now here again I have another group that's located on this and you'll notice this student is in two groups um, this one is in that group A and then I have some new ones now that are in group C and so it'll identify them for you alright now so what do we I do with this now that I have that so I'm gonna take you into the beta grade book So if you notice, I went ahead and I pulled over into the beta gradebook, and I am going to add an assignment, and you can do that here. So I'm going to click add an assignment. Okay, and so 
I'm just going to input a little bit of this stuff, but what I want to show you is here where it asks you what kind of assignment you're wanting to put in when the end and due date is, you can take this assignment that I'm just now making and you can choose a student group. Okay, and so when that happens, I can, I can choose group A, say this is a homework assignment that is specific to them, um, and when I do that and fill out the rest of the information and save it, then in, within the beta gradebook, the only thing that you're going to see is um, all of the other students are going to have, um, and I'll do this real quickly and see if we can get that pulled up, all the other students are going to have the exempt placed into the box. Okay, and so we'll do this and we're going to hit save. And so what that'll do is it'll input it straight into our should put it in here. There we go. Okay, so here is the um, assignment I just put in. I assigned it to student group A, and so if you'll notice, I have these spaces are kids that are not part of the group, and so they are um, exempt. Okay, so it shows these kids will not have this assignment show up into um, the gradebook where they can see it and it won't be on the student portal or the parent portal either for them to view. They won't even know that this assignment existed. So that's the great thing about being able to make these student groups. Okay, if you have any questions, um, you can find my email on my website, hudgenstech.weebly.com, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks.